bring them out my god something is breaking out here outside inside those following from any nation the power of god to lift and to prosper is resting upon you Hear me hear me some of you by reason of this anointing i'm seeing at least 13 people at least 13 people at least 13 people your destiny is not even in this country this is what i'm seeing as god is showing me right now that anointing is going to come upon you don't ask me how it will happen Parande shekete balata. i relocate you now by prophecy go to your place of prophecy Go to your place of destiny. I pick you a bakatos kata from where you are. The land where you must prosper. May my God take you there now. May my God take you there now. and whichever region where your prosperity is tied I shift you by prophecy go to that region now I release you let the limitations leave you now can I tell you this it is a dangerous thing to be in a place and there are people who are watching me you are outside this nation, but your destiny is in this nation. You are roaming around across the globe and finding out that even when you go to a place of plenty, there is no peace because you must be in your assigned place. I relocate you back to your place of assignment. Can I tell you this? Hear me. Hear me. All through my time of ministry I'd been in Zaria I'd become so emotionally connected there but I knew when the season was done for my assignment there it was a very difficult thing but I knew that if I do not move where God is moving as far as my assignment is concerned some of you this is the simple key you came to receive you can be roaming about there are some of you want to travel abroad is not in the blueprint of your destiny you may visit and come back but just because you hear that people are roaming around there are still people suffering in every nation don't just emotionally enter the plane and go and die my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men lifter of men i will hold on hear me I want to pray for those who are in any kind of financial trouble what's the power of prophecy bring you out of any financial situation hear me there are people some of you are owing some of you made careless business decisions and as it is right now it is only the God of heaven who can lift you I have prayed for your spiritual life and I'll pray again but this night we want to deal with these things some of you are under corporate debt you may not be the individual in trouble, but you are under corporate debt. Your organization is owing all kinds to the millions and billions. 
God can help men. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by this anointing, anyone here who is in any kind of debt or financial situation, personally, corporately, ministries that are owing and are in trouble, businesses that are owing and are in trouble, individuals that are owing and are in trouble, in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of that debt now. Come out of that debt now. By the ministry of destiny help us. Come out of that debt now. Hallelujah. There are spirits that have moved from family to family ensuring everybody remains poor. A family of everyone educated, nobody working. Everyone educated, nobody. The highest salary may be 20,000. Yes, we are grateful, but that cannot be enough. Now I want to pray. Fire will come upon you. God is going to set you free. Because there are many, hear me. Your salvation tonight is not just for you alone. It's for your family members. There are many of you, I decree and declare, any family here under a spiritual yoke, maybe something happened in time past and a cause or a pronouncement was made over your family that keeps recycling poverty and financial struggles. Right now at the count of three, please bring them under the anointing. As you shout Jesus, that altar will catch fire now. Please bring them out. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break financial yokes. Please bring them out. I break financial yokes. Every spirit recycling patterns of poverty. Every spirit. Whether you are an usher or not, please help those under the anointing. Every spirit outside, inside, following online, responsible for lack and poverty and want as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the blood of the eternal covenant we set you free tonight 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 open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray I release myself from every embargo someone pray I decree and declare a prophetic release every embargo every yoke it tied down my father. It tied down my grandfather. It tied down wicked people. I am a righteous man in Christ. And I decree and declare that by the blood of the eternal covenant, I appropriate my healing and my deliverance. One more minute, you are praying. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free. Financial embargo, I cost you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of meeting and learning from extremely wealthy people. Extremely wealthy people. I am not in ignorance. I submit to you by the privilege of God's grace as to the financial principles and the systems that make for the blessing. This prayer and this miracle service is by no means excusing your your fortitude to comply with financial principles that bless you but let me tell you something and let me teach you something there are only two ways financial resources will enter your life only two ways number one value that is exchanged number two favor that is it there is no other way financial resources will enter your pocket your value packaged and turned into products and services 
garnish with excellence and serve to a a targeted consumer base that's what you call business that is one dimension but then the other is called favor i want to show you how god restored job job 42 verse 10. my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men I will hold on through the storm. This is for someone. I will hold on through the rain. My life will soon reveal. You are the lifter of men. Lifter of Sing it one more time as a prophecy. That I will hold on to the storm. Uh, I will hold my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of man the lifter of man 